welcome to Gemini Explorer. In this video, we will demonstrate how we can simply connect to Salesforce and Gemini Explorer. Typically, navigating through Salesforce effectively requires a lot of time switching through different tabs and is limited to sharing knowledge and reports for others that may not have an account. Some benefits and use cases will be shown here, such as enabling new hires and better insight and management over partner and customer relationships. Gemini Explorer reduces the margin of error and the effort needed to generate meaningful and accurate reports. Before we begin, here's a quick look at my Salesforce account. For example, here we are looking at some existing opportunities in this account. We will highlight Burlington Textiles Weaving Plant Generator. Under stage history, we can see other useful information we will want to include in our graph database. On the Gemini Explorer interface, we can see some existing flows already created. We will go ahead and look at the Opportunities flow. Here we can see that we have selected the Salesforce plugin, as well as other options we can connect to. And then we verify the credentials to the account we wish to connect to. The next step will show the Salesforce query used to search and extract data from the account. Additionally, under Advanced, we can set up a scheduled base ingestion in different desired time increments. The next step will give us a preview of the data in a tabular format, where we can verify that we are pulling the correct data. Then we can look into the modeling phase, where we assign nodes and relationships. The data modeling being wizard-driven is all done by selecting and assigning from dropdowns. The dropdown for assigning nodes and properties are from the header column that came from the data preview. Notice also how we can assign a timestamp and match with the available formats. The next stage is then to assign relationships, which again is done simply from dropdowns with the available nodes created from the previous step. Lastly, we will receive a data model preview to check if our modeling matches to what we desire. After saving, we will now hop over to our exploration view. Here we can begin to visualize the Salesforce data in a graph view. By selecting this node, we can see that this is the Burlington node from what was shown earlier from Salesforce, as well as the other details from the stage history. We can enhance our understanding of the data by separating them by opportunity stage and the account owner to have a grand overview of the sales activity. By saving this snapshot, we can also complement this graph by generating dashboards. On a separate tab, we will be able to add different widgets as shown here. For this demonstration, we will first add a summary, then generate a table and select the fields we want to show. You can adjust each panel by dragging the window of the widget. Lastly, we will add a pie chart and customize by assigning the dimensions to be based on the node category, selecting the node category for accounts, and then measuring by neighbor count. This chart would show us the amount of opportunities attached to these accounts. Thanks for watching.